shit I can't miss Clutch shot, MJ in the finals, nigga game six I just bought a scrizzy, it's about to get flizzy I'ma take that dope money, put it in my business What up, everybody? Everybody knows sports. Me and Arco here. Yego's supposed to be here, but maybe he'll join in. Maybe you'll see him next time. We'll see. What's up, Arco? What's up with it, Chuck? Not Black much. Jesus in the building. Yes, sir. How's your How's your work today? Man, it was crazy. I couldn't believe today, but I just. I just let it roll off my back, you know, because I'm a soldier like that. And I'll be back in the AM with a, with another perspective, man. But they, they just, they they pulled some strings today, boy. I, I just wasn't, it just didn't sit right with me. But it, it's, it's going to go different tomorrow. I, I'm going to tell you that right now. Right. Pretty much the exact opposite for me. I, uh, as you know, I work at night. I had last night off and yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, our brand new mattress arrived in the mail. One of those oh, hey. mattresses that you cut open and it pops open. So okay. I off, got me a full night's sleep on a, my first new mattress in like 15 years. Man, so like I said, pretty much the exact opposite of what you said. <laughs> I, hey, I'm happy for you, man, because it ain't nothing like that that, 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 that well-needed slumber. You know what I'm talking about, man? When I tell you that I slept better than I've slept in years, I am not exaggerating one bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, before we get started, I want to shout out to uh, the Cut Different Network, obviously, and uh, our sponsors, mm -hmm. Kiara Wine. And I say yeah. sponsors because welcome to the team, new sponsor, Black Billionaire. You're going to see Most some good. from them coming soon. But uh they're uh, behind us, so we're going to make sure we're supporting them and shouting them out and everything. No doubt. No doubt. So you want to be in there? Yes, sir. You e are one. <laughs> My bad, man. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> My fault. All right. You want to kick it into some uh, some basketball? Why don't you uh, talk, talk about your Bulls a little bit before we get into the playoffs? All right, man. So shout out to my boy. Kobe White, man, starting point guard for the Chicago Bulls, man. Been holding it down the past couple seasons. Uh, we're supposed to have Lonzo Ball, of course, but he, he hasn't shown me anything in the last three years. Uh, Kobe White stepped up, you know, first year didn't go so well. Second year, my man is is nominated and 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 pick for most improved player of the year, man. So that that's tough right there, man. You know, to be able to fill the void and, and and really try to make a name for itself. And that he did. My man has he has has, has made an accolade, man. That's is impressive for a guy that's coming off the bench, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and stepping in and trying to fill them shoes, man, most threes ever made in, in the Chicago bulls franchise season is, right. is huge. And the bulls, you know, no matter what they've been, you know, for this recent era, everybody knows the bulls. They're one of those teams that, you know, you, you got a bulls uniform on and you've got automatic fan base, that a lot of a lot of guys don't get when they put on, you know, a smaller fan bases uniform. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. There, that's that's I mean, he he's not gonna have to buy a drink in Chicago for a long time. Oh uh, yeah, he the man. He the man when he come through. Most definitely. And that's like I said, man, he just next year <clears throat> I can see things getting even better if they just Shape and shift the bench a little bit. That's all we need. Cause see, I don't think nobody really expect him to do as great as he did. You know, right? Him coming off, him coming off the bench, really didn't give us any wiggle room. You know what I mean? So, him being the starter next season, I'm I'm sure of it. That a that a that a open up the 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 cap space a little bit because they don't have to adjust. They're going to have to adjust for this man. 
You know, he, he he's he's made a name for himself at this point. Right, right. Yeah, the, the only thing I knew about him until recently was that he liked to get a lot of assists until I placed the bet that he was going to get a lot of assists, and then he didn't. <laughs> I have some more some more uh, knowledge about him. Uh, I have to look into a, you know his background a little more. Like I said, I didn't really know much about him until this year. Yeah, see, and what I really like about him is he he has the old school point guard mentality. You know what I mean? It's yeah. it, it's not score first. You know he is it's the ball rotation. He he can bring it down the court. He can he he has the vision. You know to to drive through the lane, kick the ball out. He can shoot threes. Uh, he has dunking capabilities. Like, what more can you ask for? Defense is, is pretty nice, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, that's just that's just he, he's a well-rounded player, and like I said, he to me he proved that he belongs in the league, and, and he's capable of, of, of the starting position. Right. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh now that we got the good news out of the way, I think we can transition into some playoff talk with the, the unfortunate news from the Bulls lately. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the, the bad news, man. <laughs> I wish I had the button, man. It, 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 it deserves a want right there because some boys right. been letting me down. But it's a couple guys that are just giving me faith, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so here we are, playoffs, Chicago Bulls. Uh, I would say I'm proud that we clinched the ninth seed, but really I'm not. Uh, growing up as a kid, there were only eight playoff spots. You see what I'm saying? Uh, now in this new league, this shoot first league, we we got new play in tournaments uh that happen quarterly and it's it's just a whole nother aspect, you know, of, of basketball when you watch it now, you know, it's is it kinda it, I don't I'm not I would relate it to like the wrestling, you know how it was in the attitude era. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was where everybody much enjoyed it, you know. But now it's like, you know, I'm sure they've lost some fans, considering I was once a fan myself, you know. Uh, but going back, relating to that, it's just like it's almost hard for me to watch, you know, because it's is everybody selfish. Everybody wants to. Go ahead and shoot a three. Even the big man nowadays, it's like they're they're not much in the paint. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not too much boxing now. It's more of a pick and roll situation. Uh, more more of a screen setting on the defensive end and rolling out to the three point line is crazy. But uh, to see a point guard stick to the plan and actually make the playoffs. I, I guess I've been give that the thumbs up. Right. And, and like I said, him being the most improved player kind of helped him get to that point because without a good point guard on the team as a, as a basketball team is, is you're not really going to have much success, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with that being said, I would like to see him make a transition towards the way the league is now and to develop a um, a pull-up jumper, you know, uh, coming down the court and, and just giving it to him. You know, just go ahead and shoot a three. I kind of see games where where he, where they these guys get hesitant. You know, they dribble down the court. And they'd be wide open for a three and won't shoot the three. He's literally looking to make the pass. And it's like that that I feel like 
he's not confident in the shot. So, you know, it, and, and there is times where he'll come down the court. If he sees a lane, he has no problem with, with driving, you know, and, and going for a layup. So this is like develop that three-point shot. And then, and then I believe that goes out to all basketball players at this point because that no matter what position you win, the the three ball is is what's um, I guess is what's making the league money now. Like it, ever since Stephen Curry came through, right? It's you it's, know like it's been totally different. My uh, I listen to Dan Levitard a lot, and he says that the most the thing he sees the most that's representative of that change is you'll see guys on a a breakaway two on one or a three on one, you know. Mm-hmm. For generations, that's an easy layup or dunk or alley oop, you know, anything crazy. But you see guys running to the three point line and then throwing it out when they're wide open to shoot it right next to the basket. Yeah. To three, it's just yeah. three or bust almost nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah the the fast break. It, basketball is literally not what it used to be. Like it's just not, you know the. Like I said, the, from the point guard position to the center position, everybody is, is mixing it up. I, and I, at first, I, I just sat up here and I blame Stephen Curry. But you know what? LeBron James got something to do with that too because him as a a forward, he, he used to bring it down the court. You know what I'm saying? Right. In a Cavaliers jersey, in a Heat jersey, or in the Lakers jersey, you know what I mean? You can see him bringing it down the court. Like, so that kind of really, I, I know it, it influenced a lot of players saying like, hey, I got to get my handles up or, you know, I got to be able to do this. I got to be able to do that, you know? So uh, shout out to the greats in the game, I guess. You know what I mean? The uh, the influential players. Uh Kyrie Irving, Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant. Uh just just guys that really changed the league. You know what I'm saying? In, into what we see it today. Yeah. Well, I mean, as much as that is true, we're definitely seeing a change because almost all those guys you just named, we see them in the in the middle column of these pictures I got on here in the play in tournament. Yeah. And the younger guys are the ones locking up spots. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's definitely a changing, a changing, like a generation. Going. There's almost three generations in the league right now until the older mm-hmm. guys. Are and, and like I said, those guys that I just named are the reason for these younger guys. Exactly. You know, coming through and, and creating a whole new league. Uh, the the even the dunk. I have, did you watch the All Star Weekend? Did did you catch any of that? I caught some highlights and I I heard some some talk about it. Uh, not a lot of people with and with it is what I seem to get from it. Yeah, the dunk contest even even was more lackluster than ever this season like it was the creativity was terrible right uh, you know guys are athletic but i you know 10 years ago you could watch guys hop over a, a car you know what i mean right. right hop over two three different people like these yeah not these guys literally had, <laughs> you know like these guys literally had no creativity like it was just awful man but i don't it, it's hard to, to to find an original now you right. know that that's where we get into um that they, that's something they could solve simply just by convincing the bigger stars to compete in that competition to where it's more of a star power competition than a skills competition I don't think that would actually, I don't really think that would work out. Uh, 
considered like like you said because it is a skills competition exactly. you know uh you see guy maybe now don't get me wrong i think lebron james could still do a dunk contest today you know I, we i've never seen him in the nba dunk contest we've never seen lebron james do it but i would i, would, I think i would like to see him do that he, ne- he didn't even do it as a rookie or anything I've never seen. I don't. I don't think I, I have. I don't know if he has. I just. I figured that you know he might have done it the first year or two. That's crazy that he's never done it. If he hasn't, I'm gonna have to look into yeah. it. Yeah, man. He did, he did the high school one though, right? Yeah. The McDonald's All Star. Yeah, the Mc, yeah the AAU uh, tournament. Yeah. Well, exactly. uh, but who do you honest. see? Do what? I was gonna, I was gonna ask who do you see coming out of coming out and, and getting this championship? Man, so like who who's the team for you? Obviously, my team. Well, not obviously, but my team is the Heat. So obviously, we'll be in the finals coming out of the East, no matter what happens. You know, in the race. Okay. <laughs> No, but really, um, I'll have to admit, <laughs> after hearing you break down everything with your team, I, I feel super unprepared because, dude, I've watched like three Heat games this year, and I, I know the names, and I, I kind of know like the storyline that's going on because the podcast I listen to daily is a Miami podcast with being the gotcha. league, you know, and they talk Heat almost every day. So I'm gotcha. up there, but not to the point where I, I haven't watched a game to the point where I can sit here and break down what they need to do and all that. All I know is that Tyler Hero and Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo need to get it together and take us to the finals. That's my breakdown about the Heat. But well, this, yeah, I, I got a I got an opinion about the Heat myself. Uh, let me have it. All you guys need is a big man. Bam Adebayo is not a big man. Now, that's just he's I, a hell I'm of a not a big man though, right? <laughs> I said it for years. Now he was he was okay for a minute, you know. Y'all had a nice little run, you know. Uh, Tyler Hero got hurt, and I think that was the difference in y'all actually winning the NBA championship uh, a few years back. But uh, Bam out of Bayou was just not the big man. Have you seen? Have you seen uh, Wimby stats? And his, his accolades and what he's been able yeah. to accomplish lately. Yeah. That dude, that dude, oh my goodness. Like, if yeah. only we had more of that in the league. He does everything. There ain't like, he does, in the world, man. <laughs> that dude's one of a it, kind. He is literally one of a kind. It, he has more blocks in one season than Rudy Goldberg has in the last two years. Wow. Yeah. You know, like, the, amazing, man. It, and it's just like his rookie year, he's literally proven himself. I watched his first game coming into uh, coming into the into preseason. And it, he, it was just a bust, you know what I mean? I was actually, I watched it with Yago. I wish he was here with me. Yeah. Uh, we sat up there and watched his first preseason game, and it was just like, I don't know about this guy now. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet it's gonna be him in the in the in the conference finals next season, man. Oh yeah. Hey, hey. They do 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 it because I mean, if it was if it was just up to how good he was, they'd be you know in it this year. And but you know they're going to be able to do what they need to do around him just in this one year, mixed with his progression that he's obviously going to have. With like you're saying, he's going to be ready to be there next year. But do you think that the team's going to be ready to be there next year? No doubt, the Spurs is one of those teams. Like all the all they ever needed. Now, cause see, now listen to this. 
they they had Wimby is a reflection of Tim Duncan right now, right? Mm-hmm. And probably and and if you if if the projections go any further, he could be better. Now, if he get him a Tony Parker and a Manu Ginobili, you know what I'm you know what I'm saying, type guys around him, uh 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 a Boris DL around him, there is no, there, it, it ain't, there's no limits. There's no limits. If he can really get a good point guard that can come down, drop dimes, get him a good shooting guard that can, that can hit a spot up three whenever he needed, a, a good assist whenever he needed, man, there's it's no limits, man. Right. That the Spurs, like I said, the Spurs is really one of those organizations that can collect those pieces. Right, and now they can say, "Hey, come come play with Wemby," <laughs> mm-hmm. and that's you know literally a cheat code. So, yeah. Right. But I the Heat, right. I think they can get it together in a year. No doubt. But the Heat, man, y- y- y'all just get y'all a big man, and fool we. Right. Big threat. Hey, who I don't who you know who's on the bench? I don't I don't know who's y'all reserve big man. I don't even but, know if we got one. <laughs> I know I know see, we've got I think it's Jovich or something like that. Isn't he a bigger bigger guy? Uh that's what I'm saying, man. Like you you so, you stumped me by going to the bench on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want to say, but my guy, I got, I got, we got nice. I got two good big men. We got Thomas Bryant as is our backup center. Okay, Thomas Jovich, Bryant. Jovich is right. yeah. Who is it? Jovich, the one I said, he's a forward. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. But we got a, we got a six ten, two fifty. Uh, he's a little older, so I mean. Not older, but he was drafted in seventeen, so he ain't he ain't like a up and coming guy or anything like that at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like you said, we need to get one. <laughs> well, I I don't know. I think we can do it with Bam. I like I like Bam has his moments. Uh, he definitely can't guard guys like like uh, Jokic and you know stuff like that. So and Giannis, yeah. I don't know. He shuts Giannis down sometimes though. But then Giannis will still have his games. Yeah, I think the Heat are one of those teams that you know they kind of game plan with what they got instead of going out and getting what they need and yeah. kind of just try to turn guys into what they need. So maybe they can catch catch a second round draft pick or something from some college we ain't heard of and turn them into yeah. the next big man for us. <laughs> That's what we all hope for. <laughs> but I just I just thought of something too, like the Heat. And Chicago Bulls, they literally got what each other needs. Uh, <laughs> like seriously, uh, if the Heat had big man like uh, Vucic and Drummond, ah oh, man, <sighs> ooh, it'd be lights out. Right. Or yeah. or if Chicago Bulls had Tyler Harrow and Jimmy Butler. Along with Demar Derozan and man, oh, what it'd be wicked. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys let Jimmy come down to. Well, I guess he, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad he got out of there and ended up in Miami. I really like Jimmy. Yeah, man, Jimmy, I, I love Jimmy, man. I've I've been watching Jimmy since he was a two guard, man. He well, he always been a two guard, but him him coming off the bench. <clears throat> Right. Uh, in those old Chicago Bull days, man, I always had faith in him. And he was really one of those guys worked his way up to a starter. And he he was he really proved himself. I wonder if he uh, got a most improved player award cuz he definitely worked his way up. Did he ever get a sixth man before he was a starter? Um not sure of that either. Or is that I don't think so. Paul Crawford or whatever was winning it. Yeah, <laughs> that might be. That might be. Um, 
So now that now that we got our homer picks out of the way, if you uh if you had to put some money down on a team, east or west, who's the team you're picking to win the finals this year? Mm. Let me know if you need to see the other standings on the screen or at all. Go back to the west for me, because I I want to man it. I have so much faith in in the Dallas Mavericks right now, uh, even though they're sitting at that fifth spot. Yeah, but they picked it up and got it together to get to that fifth spot. But make no mistake, Denver Nuggets, oh, my God. What a squad. Right. Until Wemby gets him, you know, a Jamal Murray. They're the cheat code as far as the whole team goes. Those guys, man. Oh my God. They dead, man. I can see I can see um uh, I can see Nuggets in Boston really actually because they did the Boston Boston I'll say does the best shooting just just offensively just scoring. But the Nuggets really are the well-rounded team. It's just so much balance in every category. Um, I'm not sure if if there is enough offense for that team. Right. You know, it's just it, – because it's hard. They have a big man that's – you just can't compete with. As long as as long as he's hot, <clears throat> ain't nothing you can do. He he's big, Literally. he's tall. You know, <laughs> he has whip appeal. You know, he can he can fake a shot. Like come on, like, it, this man is crazy. And he'll do all of that. He'll take the championship and act like he doesn't even care about it. <laughs> And it, it always goes to that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, what you know Boston, they was they were on like a record pace earlier this year. So you, you don't yeah, think Boston? I I have faith in them. Like I like I said, I can see those two teams in the championship. You think uh, they got it got it locked up though? What yeah, I think they got it locked up. And why I say that is you can't just I was I was taught you live by the three, you die by the three. And that's not always gonna pull things through. You gotta have I'm not saying they don't have good ball rotation, but the, the play the playmaking is just not the same when when you're they, they they seem one dimensional. Let me say that Boston just seems one dimensional. You already know what they're gonna do. Right. Uh, you know, it's only so many. It's only so many people they can pass it to in certain situations. You know, with Denver, you never know who's gonna pull through. You know, uh, they got guys they can take a shot. They got guys. They they I believe. They're physically outmatched uh, to, yeah. to a certain extent. You know, those guys are are bigger. they and they you rarely see that uh, people run with a, a a big squad. You know, with the exception of Jamal Murray, but everybody else is exceptionally uh, large in their position. You know, uh, that that really makes a difference because it's hard to it's hard to guard a tall guard you know mm-hmm. that's just that's almost you, you damn near can't compete with that that's why uh guys like ben simmons you know uh help help create another lane too you know but like i said i it started with lebron james man just being that bigger that bigger guy being able to come down the court, you know what I'm saying, and and distribute the ball and make plays like this. 
that's where the tall guards come in at. Like that that's crazy, man. That is so crazy. People realize that they, they don't have to be limited <laughs> to one thing just based on their height. <laughs> exactly. And the league is literally looking for that now, you know, like they've they've been they've been impressed by these guys so much, they're looking for more of that. And it's like it's hard to find another Kobe Bryant, uh LeBron James or Stephen Curry, but yeah, they got you know, really the all those guys coming back to back to back. Yeah. Now, now with um, the league ushering, <clears throat> ushering in these new guys, I'm just so curious to see what it could be, right. let's say, 15 years from now, you know. Right. Well, that, that's a perfect, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but I was I want to stop you before you keep going because that's a perfect segue <laughs> into my, my team that I'm going to put, put some uh, some faith in. And that's Minnesota. And the guy who might be up next as far as the league, you know, the, the main star in the league is considered with Anthony Edwards. What do you think about them? Anthony Edwards, he's making his mark. He's, man, I'm trying to think what he really remind me of. Like, he's so explosive. Like, he can, he's, he's small, but the dunking and, the the ball handling is just crazy, right? The, he's he's really spectacular. Uh, <clears throat> that's guys like Anthony Edwards, John Morant, those like same kind of players to me. You know what I mean? Just explosive. You know, uh, I can I do see those guys kind of kind of running the game uh, moving forward. Yeah, and I think that, I mean, I don't, I'm not a whole, like, uh, I'm not real, like, uh, up to date on their their whole squad or whatever, but I, they, they got a similar record as Denver, so what do you think about them maybe being the team that could knock Denver out before we even get to the finals, if they end up meeting uh, like, in the conference finals? There's just something about when you've never been to the finals. Yeah, I was hoping uh, you'd say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just you, you that experience. That's what's going what's going to make the difference, I believe. You got to experience uh, heartbreak. Yeah, you got to experience it. You got to experience it because that's what's that's what's going that's what's going to make the beast. You know, it's going right, to make that, you that a better that player. That's going to make a better team. Mm-hmm. The chemistry will get better. Uh, with the team and things like that. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see them, you know, get to the um, divisional finals or something like that. Or, I mean, the divisional playoffs or whatever, you know. Right. But I don't really think they're going to actually get over that hump. Same same thing applies to the Thunder, right? Most definitely, the Thunder is a good team too. Uh, but they haven't experienced that heartbreak or had that Minnesota motivating factor for getting yeah. the teams who have had that. Yeah, and see, it'll be it'll be a team like the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? To mess around and advance who knows because right. they're they are actually an experienced team you know what i'm saying well, they've uh, got the ultimate experience on their team too exactly you know like the guy that everybody's checking for really they, they right. got they man but uh, like i said the lakers uh, the Kings even are a good team, but I just don't really see those guys moving. Um, the play in the, the Western Conference, if it if it stays the way it is on the graphic right now, that mm-hmm. is a hell of a play in tournament right there. Considering it is, those, that's that's guys who 
they're not at the end of their they might be at the end of their like full on prime but those are good teams still they're just you know maybe they're spending too much money on the pot or something like that and they're just not getting getting to the getting as many wins as all those teams up at the top but they're not that far behind and they've got they've got more than enough of that you know playoff experience so it wouldn't be surprising to see you know any i, I mean the kings Maybe not as much, but the other three teams that are in the play-in right now, you've got Steph Curry, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant. You could see any of those three guys take their team on a run out of the play-in tournament. Mm-hmm. So that's a, that's going to be a, an interesting Man. part of the playoffs right there. Yeah. But maybe, maybe the Lakers will make it out of there, and then they can say that they won two in-season tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got faith in the in the Lakers in that play-in tournament. I think they'll come through. Right. And it looks like they're going to have to place the the Warriors first, which, you know, they can get on a run with the shooting. But they do they even have a big man on the team besides Draymond? Yeah. Uh. I'm. I don't really know. Really, they they've made so many changes these past couple seasons. Uh, I haven't paid any attention to them really. Yeah, uh, seems like they might have went all in with the small ball yeah. that they started. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they. Re- but you know, Golden State is good for a well-rounded team. I just don't really think they had the key pieces right now. Apparently, right. Yeah. I, I doubt they have a good backup for Draymond. But uh, well, any, any East, other teams you want to touch on? Uh, I really don't really, not really, because it's not too much spectacular going on. Really, Boston is the only team in the East that I can say. That that's that's gonna really get over that that hump, you know. That has that capability. Uh, the Bucks are okay. They just just not enough scoring. And I could say the same for everybody else. Right. <laughs> just, you know, just not enough scoring, man. Boston is really competing. Yeah, it looks like on the eastern side that it's gonna be a lot of. Uh really good playoff basketball that's not going to matter at the end because <laughs> yeah. it's almost like who's going to go to Boston to go to the finals <laughs> oh man so well then at least that's how it looks going ahead obviously yeah. anything can happen and there's a there's a lot of good players in the, on all those teams like I'm I'm kind of being a Browns fan I'm always a little bit tied to the Cavaliers, especially since LeBron James is the reason I really started paying attention to basketball when I was a kid. So, yeah. Okay. It'd be really? They got a little squad put together, but uh, is Donovan Mitchell coming back from his injury? Um, man, I don't even know. I didn't yeah, even know. I didn't even know he was hurt until the other day. He might. It might have been some short, something short term. Even I'm gonna look this up real quick. That's going to hurt them in the playoffs if they can't get him. Oh, uh, don't say. Oh, uh, okay. It says he's getting healthy. No, nah, yeah. That's going to hurt. In the magic, the magic, the Pacers. Oh, he's playing. He was being on like a. Um, like a limitation or something because he's playing but he's in he's playing hurt or something like that uh, yeah it might be the case i'm i'm really upset with the clippers uh Kawhi Leonard, russell westbrook james harden uh, oh paul george you know that's a- sheesh I'm uh, I'm happy that that happened because I talked a lot of stuff when they signed all them when they got that whole team together. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was talking a lot of smack, so I gotta say I'm <laughs> glad that that turned out the way that I was. <laughs> 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 it's still though, because like you said, yeah. 
the names there. I mean, I'm sure they sold a hell of a lot of jerseys this year, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What, man, hell of a squad. That's almost a, like a Space Jam team right there. They right. they should be at number one most definitely. Yeah, I don't know literally they because they got, their, they got their powers taken from them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, anything else you want to cover about the playoffs or any other topics you want to hit before we head out? No, that's pretty much it. But I'm uh, I'm hopeful for Chicago Bulls, but I think Dallas Mavericks might end up competing with, with Nuggets for that last spot. Yeah. I'm hoping that that well, – they got the experience with Kyrie there now, so that might actually be a real good pick. For who yeah. play. I'd like to see that. Yeah. I'm For I'm sure. gonna probably uh hope that the Heat get out of the play in tournament and then being a LeBron James fan, I'm gonna hope that the Lakers get out of the play in tournament and I'm gonna root to see that finals over again with some fans in the stands. Oh man, that'll be that'll be lit. But that, that's that's what I'm hoping for, obviously. If I went and put that bet in, the odds are going to be pretty long on that. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I remember back when they did play, though, I, I had posted at the beginning of the season when Jimmy Jimmy Butler and or maybe was Jimmy – did Jimmy and LeBron go to the, to the Lakers in the Heat the same year? Maybe it was just when LeBron went to the Lakers, but I posted it in the preseason. I said Heat-Lakers in the finals. And then mm -hmm. – that was that, I didn't. I mean, I that would have been nice if I would have bet on it, but I couldn't back then. They wouldn't let us back then. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that sounds about right too. Actually, but when yeah. LeBron, Jimmy Butler ushered in, yeah. And it looks like uh, there's a good chance that we might end up being the uh, winner of you know our two teams is the team that gets to come out and the play in. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> unless unless we win our first game and then you guys have to play whoever we beat. But you know, that's how that's how the Heat did it last time. They like they lost the first game and then they had to beat I think it was the Hawks in the last game and they were like down by ten with like seven minutes left or something like that. Yeah, they like to keep just, me sweating, so I just I just keep faith. <laughs> I, like, I know that was a nail biter right there, the Heat and the Hawks. Right, but yeah, if, if we end up playing in the playoffs at all, we need to get together and watch that. Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. And I know Yego, he's a Heat fan, so next time might get a little bit more in depth on the Heat side. He might be yeah. a little bit more hip to the team than I am. <laughs> as far as watching the games already, like I'll be watching though. I'm, I'm telling you, playoff time. It's like you think that I watched every game all season. <laughs> 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 but, uh, <laughs> thanks everybody for watching um, we're going to try to do this you know maybe one or once or twice a week keep updated on what we're following in sports and you know what's popular you guys have anything that you want us to touch on feel free to hit it up hit us in the comments on this episode and we'll give you a shout out on the next one you want to say say bye to everybody Arco no doubt man this is everybody knows sports Black Jesus and Chuck signing out, man. Shout out to Cut Different Network, Kiara Wine, and the Black Business. You heard me? Yes, sir. The Black Billionaires. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, Black Billionaire. Black Billionaires. Excuse me. I'm just tongue tied oh, over here. Next, next here episode, they'll, a little be feel. Included, they'll be included in our visual package next episode, so there won't be no, okay. no mistake in who, it, who they are. <laughs> Definitely shout out to them and Kiara Wine. And uh, any and anything else, or are we just going to get out of here? Man, that's pretty much it for me, man. I've uh, just been tuning into this basketball. I'm going to try to, I'm, I'm about to dab into some boxing, man. I might come back with some, with some of that, you know. All right. Uh, but we're going to keep following these playoffs for sure. Yes, sir. All right, well, we'll see you guys next time. All right then, man.
All right, everybody. Lately, I've been on fire. Shit, I can't miss. Clutch shot, MJ in the finals. Nigga, game six. I just bought a scrizzy. It's about to get flizzy.